I've often said that life in Taiwan is cheap for foreigners. Rent is cheaper than it would be overseas, local food is cheaper, and daily expenses such as entertainment and public transport are certainly much cheaper than they would be back in Western countries. Therefore, in today's video, I'm going to spend the next seven days keeping track of every single dollar I spent in a week living as a single foreigner here in Taiwan. And hopefully this will give some information to foreigners wishing to move here, how much you need to budget when moving to Taiwan. So the first stop on day one is a very important event in the month. I'm going to be going to pick up my money from Google that you guys have earned for me by watching my videos. And just like that, I've got my hands on one month's Google income of 24,957 Taiwanese dollars. Not a lot of money. Divided by four over the course of a month, that's going to leave me with a target to spend this week of $6,250. As for now, it's time for me to go and get some lunch. And not sure how much I'm going to be able to film because I have a date. Hello, nice to meet you. Yes, a first date at Michelin star rated Ding Tai Fong maybe isn't the best idea when trying to control a budget. But after being seated, the amazing food started arriving and the conversation flowed. You can really taste the soy sauce and the noodles or the bean sprouts. And of course, the Xiaolong Bao with the star and got the thumbs up from me, as well as giving my new friend a first time experience. Cheers. <laughs> But of course it came time to pay and as a gentleman I took care of it. I'll be on the ticket. Take a and my weekly budget took a huge first hit. But overall it was a successful lunch. But more importantly, very successful date. But we're actually going to get coffee now. So uh, I'll keep you updated over the next seven days how things turn out. Wish me luck. So for coffee, my friend chose this rather fancy coffee shop and as well as insisting on paying for my coffee, I'll have that one, please. Shit, shit. She also ordered these divine cheesy pastries. Oh my God. Meaning that nothing was added to my weekly total until dinner time when I ordered this nice, simple Gurjian roll tank from local shop Jun Yong Tun, which comes in at a cheap 50 NT, taking our total for the day to 1,210 by my maths. See you in the morning for breakfast. Good morning, everybody. Day two of this seven day challenge. We're gonna go to my favorite breakfast shop in all of Taiwan. We're going to Lai Lai Doujiang. And I've got an update on the date I had yesterday. We have some good news. Yes, we've come to my favorite breakfast shop. I've been here many times on my channel before, but this buffet of breakfast sent me back $180. We've got some pot stickers, some damping, and a half cooked egg. But I got a message last night saying that she had lots of fun. What more can you ask from a date? So hopefully there'll be a second date sometime this week. I'll keep you updated. Keep watching to the end of the video to see how far we get in a week. But as for now, time for me to finish this breakfast and then we'll get to lunch. Okay, and I'm not just going to be spending money on food over the seven days. Everything I buy is going to be included in this list, including Fozzie's birthday gift. That's Showed up a little bit late from Shopee, but yeah, I'm going to go meet him now for dinner and then uh, we'll see how he likes his gift. Go share past, always ride a go share to the bar, never home from the bar. That's what Uber is for don't drink and drive. Okay, so we're at Thai Hu for dinner with the boys and I've gone for a chicken burger and a beer, which cost a whopping 520 MTs. We've got Prozzy's birthday gift to give to him. But first of all, I'm gonna ask the boys a little bit about their spending habits and how much they spend every week here in Taiwan. How much do you think you spend in a week in total as a foreigner in Taiwan? 9,000 a week, five, six grand maybe. Uh, budget for you, about 15K. Do you think Taiwan is cheap for foreigners? Yeah, compared to where we're from, it is cheap. I would say yeah, but that was five years ago. It is because if you're if you're a teacher in Taiwan, um, if you're making say let's say six to seven hundred an hour, that's about four times the minimum wage. Yeah, wages aren't really going up, but with your salary from the Red Bull F1 team, you find it quite cheap. I definitely yeah. <laughs> What was left of Saturday was to give Prozzy his belated birthday gift. Nice! <laughs> nice, man. Cheers. Thank you very much. A few more beers with friends. Happy Saturday. Cheers. 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 Cheers.
be for an Uber home and a good rest. Thanks to today's video sponsor, Emma Mattresses. Yes, seeing as this video is all about budgeting and saving money, when financial pressures get too much for me, my Emma mattress is the perfect place to settle down at night and get a good night's rest. The design and technology Emma put into their mattresses really do help improve sleeping quality. The Ergo Cell Foam technology helps support my body weight evenly and the breathable, removable, washable mattress cover really helps control body temperature while sleeping. And something that I haven't mentioned in a while in these videos is my Emma pillow, which as well as having this breathable, removable, washable cover, comes with these three removable layers, meaning that you can personalize and adjust the height of the pillow according to your own personal preferences. And it means that my neck and my head are getting the same amount of support as my body that's provided by the mattress. And when buying an Emma mattress, you can take advantage of their upcoming Mother's Day sale with 45% off the cost of everything on their website, as well as an extra 10% off when you use my code Alan at checkout after clicking on my exclusive link in the description down below. And of course, if you've already bought your own Emma mattress, then this awesome discount is gonna make it even easier for you to treat the superwoman in your house to her very own Emma mattress this Mother's Day. I'm sure she won't be disappointed, and even if she is, you can send it back under Emma's 100 day free trial program. Go check it out, link in the description down below. But now, back to the video, and time to get back to day three of this seven day spending challenge. As it's Sunday, we've got some social activities, hobbies that I like to do. The first of which is gonna be watching Formula One with my mate Kiwi. As for the dating situation, a little bit of a hiccup in that she messaged me on Saturday morning. I replied, it's been unread, she hasn't read it. Ugh. But hopefully it's just uh, she's having a nice relaxing weekend. Plenty more fish in the sea if it doesn't work out. But yeah, let's go inside the uh, restaurant. Get me Tondra and watch the Formula One. Serrano ham and cheese salad with a uh, Diet Coke. Thank you. The right rear is on fire. The right rear brake is on fire. Andre, I'm off. Uh, yeah, All right. Cheers, Cheers. See you later. And just like that, a successful F1 race comes to an end and a successful lunch. Really nice salad. $458 to be added to the weekly spend total. But now, as I said, today is going to be a bit of a relaxing hobby style day. So time to get on the scooter and head a little bit out of the city where we're going to go golfing with Prozzi. So for $250, you can have 100 golf balls. So let's put $250 onto the budget, onto the spend. So we'll give you a 4.5. You're up, Dad. Do you know what's really important? Keep your balls in order. Yeah. Ah. Oh, that looks good. Okay, so no surprises there. Alan wins the activity that I invited Prozzi along to. And the reason we've come here is not only for playing golf, we've come here to film the Alan and Prozzi podcast, which is available at the link in the description down below. As for now, it's time for me to go and get some dinner. Yeah, talking about dinner, we have an update. The girl from Friday messaged me uh, while I was filming my podcast with Prozzi, asking me if I wanted to join her for a hot pot and she's invited me along to Heidi Lau. So as you can imagine, Hot Pot was delicious but pricey and despite my friend offering to pay, I added the $1,730 to my weekly total, which after I went to play in a 500 NT poker tournament, was already approaching the target I'd set for the week. So after a day of rest and fasting on day four where I spent nothing, we arrive at day five of this seven day spending challenge and also after a weekend, a pretty heavy spending. I took a rest day yesterday, a bit of a fast. And today is actually gonna be a day of paying bills. First things first, 90 minutes exercise, then we'll get some brunch. Yes, time for lunch after a morning of exercise. So I've gone for local coffees, meat lovers, salad, a little bit expensive at $273, including a drink. So good, I'm sure it's more delicious because I haven't eaten for two days. And yesterday I spent all day at home doing housework, preparing a few video files, nothing too strenuous. And of course, spent a lot of it online chatting with my new friend. And it seems things are going well. She says we're uh, looking good for another date, maybe on Friday, which is actually after this video finishes. But yeah, maybe we're going out on Friday. So if you want to keep up to date with uh, my personal life, check out my Instagram, Life in Taiwan 2017. We've got a friend, say hello to YouTube morning exercise and lunch taken care of. Now, time to get these bills paid. First up, Guan Li Fei. Anyhow, we are for what uh, Guan Li Fei. Okay, so an iced coffee at my favorite local Western restaurant, the Uptowner. So you can stick an extra $90 
on the weekly spend, but let's talk bills. $2,250 a week on rent, $182 by my maths per week for electricity. Another expense that's a little bit more expensive for me because I don't have an employer is national health insurance, $206 per week. Incredibly cheap, five pounds a week for full coverage national health insurance. And the final utility bill I have to pay is my water rates, 20 NT per week. Water is almost free here in Taiwan. Now it's time for me to enjoy my coffee, get a bit of this video edited for you guys, and then I'll see you at dinner. Yep, I spent a few hours editing, then headed for a delicious dim sum dinner. And thanks to one of my awesome followers who sent me a line gift, I ate all this beautiful food without adding anything to my weekly spend. So thanks to the fan who sent me the line coupon for the dim sum dinner, that was much appreciated. But we have officially arrived on day six of this seven day spending challenge. And day six is gonna be a shopping day, so I've come to my local Carrefour to pick up some essentials for the house. Oh, thank you. This is English. Yes, that's right. This is Dong Dong, right? Yes, Dong Dong Dong. Oh, okay. Ready, one, two, three. <laughs> essential number one in any household, toilet tissue, $213. Next essential, shampoo, $189. Shi Yi Jing, Zhou Si Jiu Kui. Drinking water, despite Taiwanese water rates being so cheap, we cannot drink from the tap. Much needed toilet cleaner, $48. And the latest addition to my lifestyle, two nice big bags of juicy lemons. Ku has been encouraging me to drink raw lemon juice with a little bit of water every morning for a bit of health, a bit of uh, extra oomph in my step before that morning exercise. And to give the lemon juice a bit of a fizz, some sparkling water, $90. So a total of $934 spent on essentials for the house, but I haven't eaten all day. I've been editing this video. Time to get out of Carrefour, go get some dinner. And for that dinner here on day six, we've gone for a smoked sausage and tomato sauce spaghetti, just to prove to you that it's not all about Haidi Lao, Ding Tai Fong, and dim sum. I do sometimes have to eat cheap, convenient food, whether because of time or budget constraints. So talking of time constraints, it's probably time to get this video wrapped up, take a look at exactly where we spent our money, what was the most expensive part of my lifestyle, what was the cheapest part of my lifestyle. And before we do that, we need to add in this final dish, this breakfast dough, this absolutely steaming hot bowl of mixed dough. There's pork, there's egg, there's century egg. The perfect start to a hard working day ahead of me editing this video. Mm. But yes, the $110 that this dough cost me is gonna take me up to $11,322 for the week, way over the $6,250 budget. I first envisioned, but let's take a look at where the money was spent. Fixed overheads, rent, 2250. Bills, 1428. I actually forgot to put in my cell phone bill, which is about $500 a week. So over $3,000 comes out of my pocket before the month even starts. Hobbies, the poker and the golf was $750. Not too much, actually, considering how much I enjoy them and how much happiness they give me. The groceries, along with the gifts that I gave to Prozzi for his birthday, was $1,288. Beer, the money I spent on Saturday night was over $1,000. $1,010. Probably a little bit too much for one night, but not too bad over the course of seven days. But undoubtedly, my biggest expense was food at $4,318. Probably heavily influenced by the dating situation that I've had going on. I've been for two really nice dates, taking a really fun, interesting, positive, happy, beautiful girl out for lunch and dinner a couple of times is not cheap. So food was $4,318. Can probably cut that in half if I don't have any social activities. But yes, anyway, there's my weekly spend as a single foreigner living in Taiwan, as I promised you at the start of the video. A little bit over budget compared to what I imagined, but I should probably get in more control of my finances. And I've actually had lots of fun filming this style of video. I don't often do vlogging or take you on uh, my daily life, but I hope you've gotten to see a little bit more of my daily life, the places that I go, the people that I hang out with, and the things that I do and spend money on. I'm sure you have your own comments and judgments on my spending habits, so leave them in the comment section down below. And the last person I wanna thank is my new date, my new friend. Things are going very well, very swimmingly. Lots of messages being exchanged back and forth, getting to know each other with just early day jets. I'm sure lots of you will be very excited to hear that I have someone uh, interested in moving things forward with me. So, uh, so yeah, let's not get too personal and let's not share too much of her private information. But yeah, very happy that I've met someone really nice. Anyway, 
Time for me to wrap this video up, finish my dough. Thank you guys for watching. And as for now, as always, I'll see you next time in my life in Taiwan. Peace. Bye-bye.